What's up guys, this is Daniel. And today I wanna to walk you through Finish on Neo by UGM Instruments. Neo is an audio effect that is super easy to use and yet it's a powerful source for infinite inspiration. You can almost perform it like an instrument. So let's go ahead and check it out. Finish on Neo offers five different categories. Each category contains 10 modes and are named according to their musical application. Spread, Crush, Swirl, Shape, and Boost. A mode is basically a combination of different effect algorithms and their routing under the hood. Before I'll show you some examples, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the interface. There are two ways to browse through the modes. You can either use the drop-down menu by clicking on the mode's name, or simply use the left and right arrows to jump from one mode to the next. When you select a mode, you can see a little description of what it actually does next to the mode's name. The main control is the effect knob. The effect knob is not just simply a dry and wet knob, it is a powerful macro control, controlling multiple parameters of the underlying algorithms at once, for example LFO speed or reverb length. To shape the details of a mode, you have the variation 1 and 2 controls. Depending on the mode selected, both variation knobs are wired to useful aspects of the sound, such as reverb time or delay time. So these are the basics. Let's see and hear Neo in action. For this, I want to break down some of the individual tracks of my song One of a Kind, which has at least one instance of Neo on each track. Let's first check out the vocal track without Neo on it. On this track, I've selected the clouds mode, which adds chorus delay reverb clouds to the dry signal for a dreamy, airy atmosphere and lots of space. In this case, I've automated the effect knob so that the ambience intensifies at the end of the phrase to wash the signal out before the bass drops. On the drums track, I used the cheap chip mode for a little variation before the breakdown. This mode recreates the typical early computer sounds also known as bit crushing, while at the same time adding punchy compression and ambience. Let's first listen to the track without Neo. And here it is with the effect, as well as an automation on the effect knob. Every control value in Neo can be automated within your DAW, even the mode selector, which allows you to switch between modes without any audio glitches. Finally, let's look at the synth steps. This is how it sounds without Neo. And this is the frequency shift mode which adds some nice movement by shifting the frequencies up and down at different speeds. The effect knob adjusts the rate of modulation, giving the sound an oscillating feel. Well, that's it for today with Finish on Neo. You can try it out for yourself with a fully functional 30-day trial. Go to ugem.com.